Well, good morning, America. This is old Jim Bob coming to you from the Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. A secret location somewhere in America. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, doctor's uh, visits. Uh, you know, when you get up older, and you got to make a lot more doctor's appointments. And uh, it comes to getting kind of irritating to me and the way that whole situation works. That I had to make an appointment the other day, and this is how it worked out. And this, I'm going to tell you the whole situation, see. Well, first of all, I mean, my doctor, I, I like my doctor. He's pretty good. He's better than most average ones. So I'm not talking about him specifically. I'm talking about some of them that I fired a while back, and I don't go see no more. Uh, but even his uh, situation and appointments is the same same situation as the way it works. You call him up on the telephone, and you get the, the thing called the sequencer. And it says, uh, hello, this is the doctor's office. Our office hours are this and that. And on 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 and on. It tells you all this kind of stuff. And then it says, if you want to make an appointment, press one, and you press one, and you finally get to talk to some little old girl. And uh, tell her who you are, and she said, what's your birthday? And then she looks up in the computer, and she said, okay, uh, you can come see the doctor on um, uh, a Tuesday next week at, uh, at 10 o'clock. And I said, okay, that'd be good. I'll be there. So she hung up on her. And you wait and you put your little appointment book down, a reminder, so you'll go. And uh, then uh, a, a day before that, appointment time comes, you get a phone call. And the phone calls, it ain't nobody real, it's just a recording. And it says, all right, now you got an appointment uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock with a doctor. And uh, we're just going to remind you, and you better be there, because if you don't show up, we're going to charge you anyways. And that kind of, you know, pisses me off a little bit, but that's what they do. And uh, I said, and then you have to wait for a whole bunch of talking on that to Prince One to tell them you're coming. No, otherwise they're going to charge you a whole bunch of money. So, um, you know, after they get through jabbering on there, you press the one and you, then you think you got to hang up. And uh, so the next day comes appointment day. All right, hot dog, it's appointment day. Get to go see the doctor now. So uh, you get on in any car, you go on down there, you make sure you're on time because you don't want to be late and get charged. And you get in there and uh, you walk up to, they all the same, see, it's, the whole thing is the same. This is what bothers me. Every doctor's office since the beginning of time is just like this. You go up in there in the main office, in the waiting room. It's a big waiting room. And you go in there and uh, you go up to a window, it's got a glass, sliding glass thing there because they don't want to get your germs in there on them. I reckon that's why it's glad. And the girl will slide the thing back. And I said, uh, this is Jim Bob. I'm here, I got an appointment at 10 o'clock. She said, well, write your name down on that piece of paper on the big clipboard up there. I said, but I just told you who I am. You have to write on the clipboard. So I write on the clipboard. And uh, I says, uh, what's your name? And what time did you get here? And what time is your appointment? And who's your doctor? And uh, so I, I fill that out, and then uh, she said, "Okay, go over and sit down." I went, All right, go over and sit down. And I'm in the big waiting room. Lots of people in the big waiting room. Got the magazines in there. Got a TV in there. Some of them do. And uh, yeah, sitting in there to wait. So you wait, and your appointment's at 10 o'clock. Well, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock rolls around. 10:15 rolls around. About 10:20, somebody up there comes open through the door and they said, "We well, want to go for the gym, Bob." I said, well, "That's me." I get up, kind of snoop, doop, no, you know. I've got my name called now. I'm going on in there. So they take you in there, and they they, and they uh, put stick a thermometer in your mouth and they take your blood pressure and all that kind of stuff, and they take you down there and they put you in a little waiting room. And uh, yeah, now you went from the big waiting room to the little waiting room. And you sit down in there, and uh, 10.30 rolls around. And uh, you get uh, a little, uh, it might be a magazine in there or something or other, but then they got uh, the 
examining tools and uh, there's there's some signs you got to be wary of when you go in there see if you go into one of them waiting rooms and you look up on the table and you see some rubber gloves and the KY squirted out you know you in for examination you didn't want to get that's, yeah, that could be bad but if you don't get that in there that's good you go on in the regular little waiting room and you wait so in there after a while uh, a girl comes in there and asks you a bunch more questions and then uh, she leaves and now it's getting up around 10 and 45 and uh, after that, then the doctor shows up. He comes flying in there. Oh man, he's like a whirlwind. He's in there. Okay. Here's your prescription. I'll see you later. Boom. He's gone like a whirlwind. He, he didn't see that doctor more. I mean, I couldn't hardly see him. He was so quick using it out of it. I'm not talking about my doctor I go to now. I'm talking about that other doctor. And, uh, and so... That's how it goes. Then you get out of there and you go over there and you got to stay in there, stand in a line to get out of there to get their money. They got to get your money. And uh, I got the Medicare and the Medigap, but I don't never have to pay no money. It's irritating me. I'd stand in that line because I know I ain't going to pay no money. And uh, But they make me stand in there anyways and they send me on out there. And uh, so that's the way it goes when you get a doctor's appointment and, and it ain't changed and I don't know how long. Uh, the only thing that's changed about it is now they got them robots call you on the telephone. That part's different than it used to be, but if you think back a long time ago, they still had the big waiting room and the little waiting room, and the doctor come in like a whirlwind. Yep, that's my story. That's Jim's out.